And let's see, what else was I going to tell you? On the uh, doll stamps, these are the only ones that I have right now because these are the only ones that I really like. And another trick that I found is you don't have to buy, because these are like seven and a half inch uh, stamps, you don't have to buy the acrylic block for that. If you have an extra long Sizzix uh, cutting plate, this is what I use. They fit perfectly on here. So there's no reason to buy an extra um, acrylic block just for your um, Prima Dow stamps. And another trick that I found out is, uh, you know how sometimes all of these <clears throat> products are so expensive, sorry if there's a glare, to buy this stuff. Well, the uh, Tim Holtz Anirondack, uh Alcohol Blending Solution, this really takes off all your different paints and whatever. You know, you don't clean your stamps with this, but uh, this is nice to clean up your work area with. It's almost like... Um, um, you know, like paint remover or whatever, but it's a little bit uh, uh, gentler. Well, there you go. Use alcohol, rubbing alcohol. Don't use it on your rubber stamps. But if you get any kind of, I just use a rag or a paper towel to put a little, boy, you should see how nice and clean that cleans it up. It takes all the paint, all the, all the either paint or uh, inks, whatever, it comes off. It really cleans it really nice. So I wanted to give you that little tip too. And so that's that. And then what I did is when I trimmed this, I went to our local thrift store in, in our neighborhood and I found this. Look at this, how gorgeous this is. This is about four inches wide. I got this whole, whole thing. Got that. Look at this. Got the whole thing of this. I don't know how many yards this is. And this is about three inches. Look at that. And that's what I used for the trim on that. And then this bag. I don't know how many how many yards of this I have, but look at how dainty that is at the thrift store. All of this for $4.29. I mean, how can you beat that? Can't beat it with a stick. So I had enough, naturally I had enough of this, so I used and uh, trimmed it with this all the way around. And for it to stand I use the Tim Holtz easel. Love that die. Here it is. It's worth the money to get this. You could put those on cards. I put them on cards and tags and if you make like a little plaque or whatever, um, this works out great because sometimes if you want to display your tag, if you can't hang it or you're going to easel, well this is better. Just use you just use this instead. So this was this is really worth the money. I really get a lot of use out of this out of this die. But I just wanted to show you what I made for my mom because she's just such a trooper. She's really um, doing well, and I just wanted to have her have her sit and at a glance look that she's got the three daughters that we think about her and letting her know how strong we think she is and um, how much she, she is loved and I we wish her um, a speedy recovery but um, I wanted to just uh, share that with you so I thank you very much for watching bye